Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these eggnog cupcakes. Let's begin. So starting the recipe you'll want to make the pastry cream. So to make the pastry cream grab yourself a medium sized saucepan and place in your eggnog and milk followed by the vanilla and then into another bowl place your egg yolks and sugar and whisk them together until they are lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency. While you're doing this place your eggnog and milk mixture on the hob and allow it to come to a simmer almost reaching a boil. Once your egg yolks and sugar have become well combined and the mixture is almost white, you can then go ahead and start focusing in on the liquid mixture to stir that so it doesn't catch on the bottom. And once it's almost at a boil, you can take it off the hob and add in a small amount or around about a third of the mixture into your egg mixture. And just whisk that in. This will help temper the mixture and stop the mixture from curdling once we add the rest of the liquid mixture in. You can then go ahead and steadily pour in the hot milk mixture over your egg mixture and just continuously whisk it as you start pouring it in. You can then go ahead and transfer the mixture back into the saucepan and place it on the hob over a medium high heat. Now you'll want to continuously stir it so it doesn't catch on the bottom and the mixture will thicken and it will happen very quickly so you do need to keep your eye on the mixture. If you don't it will catch on the bottom and then you'll have to restart it as it will burn on the bottom. But as you can tell here is the mixture once it's thickened. Then you can take yourself a tray or a bowl, transfer the mixture into it and spread it out as thin as you can possibly get it and then cover with cling film to, to prevent a skin from forming on top of it. You will then want to leave this somewhere to cool down completely until it's fully cold. You can even make this a day or two days before you need it. To make the cupcakes it's super easy, grab yourself a large mixing bowl and then you'll want to go ahead and place in all of your ingredients starting with the butter followed by the sugar, the flour, baking powder and green spices, then the egg, the dash of vanilla and then you're good to mix it. So mix it on a medium high speed until it's all fully incorporated. You might find using the all in one method you may need to add a little bit of milk just to help the mixture come together but add in some milk and mix it until it's fully incorporated it'll still be the same light and fluffy cake batter that you always make. Then go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and divide the cake batter between your cupcake cases. This mixture will make six very easily. Once you've got your cases filled you can then go ahead and place these into your preheated oven. All of that information will be on the blog post which is linked down below. So while your cupcakes are baking you can make your buttercream. To start on the buttercream place your butter into a bowl and beat it on its own for around 5 to 10 minutes until it's lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency. You can then go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits of butter that may not have been fully worked in. Then you can add in your first half of the icing sugar and start to incorporate that on a low speed to start with, working your way up to a medium high speed. If you start it on a high speed you'll land up with your kitchen just coated in icing sugar and it's a mess. So start low, work your way up high. Repeat this stage with your second batch of icing sugar and just mix it in until it's fully incorporated. So just before you finish with the buttercream you'll want to place in some vanilla extract and just beat that in until it's fully incorporated. You can then go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. So once you've got all of the elements of the cupcake made, you can then start with the assembly. So grab your pastry cream and scrape it all up into a bowl and just whisk it all together until it's looser and it achieves more of a spreadable consistency because at the moment it's quite stiff as it's been in the fridge. But you're trying to whisk it back until it's more pliable like this. You can also use a food processor or a stand mixer to loosen the mixture up if you want to and then just transfer it into a piping bag and leave it until you need it later on. You can then take your cupcake which has been baked and fully cooled and then just core out the centre. I'm using a cupcake corer but feel free to use an apple corer or whatever you have that works best. You can then go ahead and generously fill your cupcakes with the eggnog pastry cream. And to add a little kick of flavour to the buttercream, add in some of the pastry cream and just fold that in until it's fully incorporated. Then you can transfer it into a piping bag fitted with your nozzle of choice. 
You can then go ahead and pipe as much or as little buttercream on top of each cupcake as you'd like. I just went with a normal swirl but feel free to personalise it and customise it to suit you. Then no cupcake would quite be finished without some sprinkles so I'm just using these blue sprinkles as they've got a bit of a wintry feel to them and to just make them feel that bit more festive, adding on some sugar paste. So snowflakes, well, that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, there'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog, and links to my social media where I'm trying to post more daily on Instagram and TikTok, so follow me over there. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.